Hi, I'm in London. Welcome to Raining in My Dystonia. Today I thought I would con continue about this third member of my Dystonia management team, Smokey. And I left off the last video saying we had problems when we got here. <laughs> um, I wasn't committed to him when I got him, I'll admit it, you know. And, uh, but I knew he'd be easy to sell if for whatever reason I decided I'd sell him because, um, I had a hard time finding a, a nice horse, you know, that would be good for me here. And that's why I bought him, you know, eight hours away from me. <laughs> um, you know, my, Smokey's only my second horse, so, um, the old man, you know, when we rode, we rode all over. We rode all over that boarding facility where I boarded him in the beginning. We just rode everywhere around there. Rode to town even sometimes. You know, we'd be gone for hours by ourselves, just he and I. Just he and I, you know. And he never, you know, like the first 10 minutes going out on a ride, he was probably a little cranky. But then he got over it. Um, so, I mean, we, I just have ha such trust in him. He and I just had such trust in each other and such a, an incredible confidence and an incredible bond, you know. So when Smokey got here, being my second horse, also I was still riding the old man, which may have been some of the problem, I don't know. Um, so we had a really, 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 really hard time building trust and confidence in each other. Um, probably more so than me, than him. I was, I, I, I used to always tell people, I was Smokey's biggest problem when, when I got him. I was his biggest problem. You know, <laughs> fear he was not going to work out, fear he was going to dump me, just fear in general fear he was not going to be what i needed um so i was i was our biggest issue so a few months i had him for a two-week trial and then i dislocated my elbow a week into it so i had to commit to him i had to either commit to him or send him back within that two weeks and i hadn't gotten the ride so that sucked but i went ahead and kept him because i knew he'd be easy to sell um so we, after I was able to ride again, um, I, you know, started riding him some and trying to work on our thing and I was still riding the old man. And Smokey does this thing with his head. I say his name when he stops. <laughs> he shakes his head. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down. And I thought... I thought it was a, a bridle problem, so I tried all kinds of bridles on him and different things, and he still did it, and, you know, I, I was riding him in our pasture at first, and there were times I was so frustrated with him and the head thing that I would get off of him and walk. I would just cry and walk. I was just so upset because I didn't know what to do, and he would follow me. I wouldn't be holding on to his reins or anything, you know, they'd just be around his neck. And I would walk and cry, and he followed me everywhere I went while I walked and cried. <laughs> and after doing this, you know, as I would, eventually I, I thought, you know, obviously, obviously you like me. You know, obviously you like me, Smokey. I don't, you know, there's something with you that you are following me when I'm walking and crying and so disgusted with you. Oh. Right, so I moved the phone. Let me put it on here. Okay. So I would walk and cry walk and cry and he would follow me as I walked and cried so um I tried all different kinds of bridles I tried to hack more you know all kinds of different things on him and he still did it and I didn't I was frustrated and 
and didn't know you know what to do and I ended up calling a couple of trainers and you know I thought well I saved a little money on him I'll go ahead and put some money into a, a trainer or something and um I talked to this uh, the last gal I talked to she was young just I think she may have still been in school even I don't know um but I just liked what she had to say and you know she said the best thing was would be for her to come out and and you know work with us and meet us and you know see what's going on and this and that so I went ahead and had her come out and then I um I guess I hired her and had her keep coming out to work with us and she she taught me all kinds of stuff and um and um helped us build trust and confidence in each other and this and that and she was wonderful oh, one time I said something about this head thing you know to her and she said you know and I said I, I don't know if she said or I said but all horses have some kind of thing they all have something that they, they do that you know some kind of irritating thing you know Denny's was that he would um sometimes I would be going to get on him and he'd walk off that was a bad thing <laughs> you know and um so she and I talked and you know she said she said you know we could always look for another horse for you and she said but they'll have something too you know we can learn how to deal with this thing or we can get you another horse that might have another thing. And we can learn to deal with that. Um, so obviously I opted to learn how to deal with this thing. Um, since having him and riding him and all these these years. I've probably had him, what, five or, five or six, five, six years? I don't know. Anyway, I have come to learn that the head thing that he does <laughs> the head thing that he does is um it's something he does either when he's pissed off or happy i have learned <laughs> so like if he wants to go one way and i want to go another and i make him go my way he will do the head thing because he's pissed off Mm -hmm. when he takes a roll in the cool grass or the sand and he's going he's going to be getting up he does his head thing i need to get a video of that and post it because it's it's really cute um so that's what his head thing is it's just happy or pissed off <laughs> another thing that i brought up with her was um he is soft sided which means you could, like when I met him, you could barely touch him and he would take off. Which, for a rider like me, was was a little um, unnerving. Also, I was hoping my husband might want to drive him, ride him, drive him, ride him someday. And so I didn't want him soft-sided. And that was another thing I had uh, talked about with the trainer. <clears throat> And uh, he's no longer soft-sided, so I don't know if we worked on that together or if she worked on it when she would ride him or what, but he's no longer soft-sided, so that's good. Um, so, um, I will leave it there for now and talk more about, about him and our training and how we've progressed together and have built this awesome relationship. Thank you all. Have a great day. Bye.